Hello guys, so today I am going to showcase to you Gran Turismo 4 on PC the experience you can have right now in 2024 with the cockpit and the sim rig up to this glorious legendary racing game that was one of the best of its era in the PlayStation 2 time so let's go into career mode today i'm going to be talking and driving and i'm going to be attempting to one shot the gran turismo world championship i think i have uh, an upgraded car a group c or maybe Le Mans car that i can use the nissan seems to be a really nice pick i'm not sure if this car is upgraded but i think not we can always check out Maybe I should buy a few more tire compounds. Not sure if I should go for the super hard tire, maybe not. Everything is the way it should be for a competitive race. I'm not uh, having any turbo applied on this car. So one of the things that I'm going already to recommend to you guys if you attempt to do this kind of thing is to keep doing oil changes to your cars. If you keep doing oil changes to the cars, you always get a little bit more power because as soon as you start racing, the oil starts to wear out and you start losing power. So it's always nice to have fresh oil between the races. Now guys, let's go for the professional events here in Gran Turismo. And we are going to go to the last championship, Gran Turismo World Championship. Let's see which grid are we going to be getting. And now I'm going to show you guys the setup that I've made in order to have this car way easier to drive and be more competitive on the track. So, because this car will wear out the tires a lot, I'm using medium tires in the front and hard tires on the back because this car is very powerful at 1000 horsepower, even though I didn't change anything from stock. So, no turbo, everything is as competitive as it can be. Here I have a little bit more brake balance in the front and in the back. This will be helping stabilize the back of the car on corner entry. And now I'm going to go for the suspension. Here, sometimes I'm wondering if I should have a little bit looser suspension or not. Hopefully this will be ideal for the driving style that I'm going for. Here I did a trick where I pulled the final gear ratio all up to the max. Then while this is maxed out I go into auto gear ratio, I pull it to the max, then I pull it down to 1 and then I put this where I want it. And right now I have 350 kilometers of top speed, I enjoy the acceleration, everything seems to be nice around that part. Here you have to take off the stability system, the aid for the steering movement on oversteer and understeer because that will slow down the car way too much in the corners and just a touch of traction control because the 1000 horsepower is very hard to control. Here the limited slip ratios or this is the differential sort of thing that you have in Gran Turismo and the downforce is maxed out. So now that we have the setup, I'm going to save it and let's go for the race. So one of the Peugeots in the front and I think there will be another here. So those are the absolute fastest cars on this grid. The Mercedes is really nice but the AI won't be able to drive it to its fullest potential and I must say that if you have string and pedals you gotta get a DLL file in order for the PlayStation emulator to detect and actually be able to configure as a Logitech controller as Gran Turismo 4 was initially intended but after that you even get force feedback in some cases right now I do have a little bit of force feedback and 
because of that the car setup change really helps because I can feel so much more of the car driving with the steering and pedals even if you don't have much force feedback you will notice how the car behave how the car behavior changes compared to your inputs and how your use of those inputs will change depending on the setup that you have so it's really worth it to check out guides on setting up the cars in this case this car becomes way easier to drive usually group C cars they need certain things in their setup to be drivable well, I was not expecting to understeer that much so right now I'm hoping I'm hoping and I'm hopeful that the tires will last to the end of this race but I have to confess the rear tires wearing out even faster than the front this is a bit scary Whoa. maybe I have too much brake bias in the front because when I'm braking the car just doesn't want to turn Whoa. This was a huge mess up now, but I'm not really going to restart any of this, not worth it. I'll just try to make it up. I'm on for a little bit of a challenge. And to be honest, just the driving experience in Gran Turismo 4 with the steering gun pedals something that back then when I was a kid in the PlayStation 2 I never even thought it would be possible let alone be using a direct drive on Gran Turismo 4 and having these nice graphics Careful now. I feel like the pedals give me an on and off feeling. It's really weird for me when I want to modulate them. Careful here. I can do that in fourth gear actually. Finally, I'm back in first place. Now I gotta be careful with the tires. I'm trying to change position. It's when I'm starting to get serious. Driving and talking I start to lose focus, so I start to talk less and focus more on my laps. Whoa. And this was a little bit unexpected understeer. I thought I had more grip in the front there. corner where I had a little bit of a big shunt now I'm going through that part a lot better I figured out how to keep the car stable there but now some of the other longer corners they're a little bit of a struggle trying to find out the right place to start accelerating 
that last corner seems to be faster as a double apex. I just got a bit more careful on how I got the car in the places I wanted to go. A little bit too much understeer there. I needed just a tiny bit more braking. No. I'm going way too wide on most corners. The guy in second place will catch up to me. And because this seems to be so stable and so inviting to push too hard on the pedal, sometimes I'm accelerating before the apex, which is not how to do things. So I gotta be careful to not pick up bad habits here. Well, the quickest way to drive should be still more or less the same, where I'm just controlling the inputs Steer, then understeer on corner exit. I think I'm learning how to deal with the car and setup. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I spoke too soon. Uh, let's go four laps to catch up. Now this is going to be a nice challenge. So the tires are holding up. We are past the middle of the race, but now I'm getting a little bit afraid. Because if the tires go too much into the orange zone, even before the red zone, the stars they start to lose a ton of grip. These are some really fun cars to be driving around. Be careful. Ah, man. No, this win is going to be personal. I win against this car is like personal revenge right now. I need to find a way of breaking later.
this corner, I had it figured out and now the car doesn't seem to be stable enough for it. And that oversteer on that car. I'm not ready to deal with the tire wear that I have right now. These really worn out tires. Now that I have a little bit less grip and the car is a little bit looser, I am able to have less understeers, I think. Or my driving has just improved at the end of the race, I don't know. But this is feeling quicker somehow. The tires are gone, going into the orange right now. Yeah, this was the quickest lap of the race. deadly corner I just survived everything up until here The rear left is so that this the sliding around of the rear end of the car. That was so crazy. And the last lap was even quicker lap. Maybe the car got lighter with less fuel. Really interesting. I hope you guys have enjoyed this race and enjoyed this footage of Gran Turismo 4 from the PlayStation 2 running on a high-end computer compared to the hardware that you had at the time. At the same time, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the steering wheel and the pedal work on Gran Turismo, trying to use a little bit more realistic settings so that the behavior of the car is well represented on the inputs and even using telemetry so that you guys can also see the telemetry of how I'm playing the game. Thank you very much for your time and watching if you stuck around until here. Don't forget to leave your comments, likes and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thank you very much once again and have a great day, see you on the racetrack.